in our previous video we were discussing regard regarding how to create sessions as part of each of our events each event will have multiple sessions so that each day will have multiple sessions conducted on that event starting from morning 9 am now what what else is remaining as part of this application is as part of create session component we had not implemented so far so it's time that we have to implement reactive forms as part of this create session component so let's create reactive forms for this create session component dot ts okay so inside this component initial step is let's import whatever the required form items from angular that is angular forms okay so let's import what are the form items which we require for reactive forms that is form control we need form group and one more thing is validators okay. these we are importing from these we are importing from angular slash forms angular okay so next what we have to do we have to define each of our controls in on init method okay so this class that is create session component class has to implement implements on init okay on init and as part of this on init we have to implement the method ng on init inside this component class that is create session component class we have to provide method that is ng on init okay as part of this ng on init we have to define that is we have to set up each of form controls for each of the fields okay let's do that next so for each of the fields what are the fields required for this session if you remember as part of event.model.ts we had created following properties that is id name presenter duration level abstract and notice so for each of these properties we have to set up each of form controls for each of these fields okay so let's do that by using this dot name equals new form control okay and inside this we have to pass required validators validators dot required okay and similarly i'm just going to copy this and i'll just paste it like this and i'm going to change this name property to presenter what else and what we have duration okay level sorry here level and what is one more thing one more thing is abstract okay so these are the properties which we had specified as part of event.model.ts and the same properties i am going to set up here as part of this right for each of this we are creating form controls and what what next we have to do by making use of these fields we have to create a form right let's build the form out of these fields okay so and if you remember here the abstract field which we had created previously it is of type text area okay it is of type text area right abstract because it is a summary of the session it includes the summary the brief description about the session which is a text area field so for a text area field along with this required validator let's also include another validator over here that is max length okay we can specify validators dot max length and this max length i want to specify 400 okay that's it now we will build form out of these fields okay how we can do that by making use of this dot new session form this will be equal to new form group okay and as part of this form group for each of the field we have to create the form that is name this dot name and similarly presenter this dot presenter and duration 
this dot duration what else level this dot level and abstract hmm. abstract this will be this dot abstract okay so we have created a form by making use of the these fields which we have indicated over here that is we have set up over here along with their validators okay now what next is pending what is the next step is to bind this we have to what we have to do see if you observe this name presenter duration level and abstract we have to create corresponding variables for this right we have to set up variables for this so let's declare appropriate variables for each of this okay so for for initially we have to make use of this that is new session form let's create publicly over here so inside this will specify new session form and this is of type form group and the other fields as well what are the other fields of the form that is name this is of type form control and similarly presenter type form control then duration type form control level type form control and abstract this is also type form control that's it so I made and what else is pending if you see here on init there is an error getting displayed this is because we have not imported on init as part of angular slash core right so along with this component we have to import on init on init. okay so what we have done here initially we imported angular form items by making use of this import form control form group and validators from angular slash forms that is the first step second step is we define each of our controls in on init okay on init that is by making use of ng on init method we are defining each of our controls inside this okay next for each of this we set up each of the form controls for each of the fields defined over here we have set up see if you observe we have set up here each of form controls for each of the fields here right then what we have done what else we have done we have built form out of these fields by using these fields which we have declared along with their validators we are building form out of these fields okay once the form is built then what else is pending we have to declare each of these variables right so these variables appropriate variables for each of this we have declared here okay so once everything is done as part of create session component dot ts next step what we have to do is now these whatever we have declared over here the react whatever the required for the reactive form that is form controls as well as the form group this will be available in our html template so what we have to do is we have to bind these to our HTML template, which we are going to define inside create session component.html. Okay. So, how to bind all these fields which we have provided over here as part of a reactive form to our HTML template? We will see in our next video. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please like, comment, and share this video. And kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos.